how to sell coffee online and make money doing it. And how do I start my own coffee business? So these are two topics we're going to dive into in this video. I'm going to show you a multitude of ways that you can actually sell coffee online and package it and make money doing it. We're going to dive into those ways right now. All right, so welcome back to Marketing Food Online. It is Damian Roberti, founder and CEO of Marketing Food Online. And in this video, we are gonna dive into a multitude of ways, actually 19 different ways to sell coffee. Um, I did a video recently about how to sell tea in a multitude of ways. And I wanted to dive into this in question on our other Marketing Food Online channel, our second YouTube channel, about how to actually sell other than just simply on a single platform. So I thought I would dive into it and give you a variety of ways to sell coffee. So if this is your first video, definitely hit the subscribe button and the bell notification so you can see all of our new videos as we upload them. If you are a food entrepreneur, this is definitely the channel for you to check out. All right, number one, we're gonna dive into bulk beans, bulk coffee beans. So if you are looking to import coffee beans and you have them in the 50, 60, or 100 pound burlap bags, and you simply wanna break them down and sell them in bulk, without either roasting them or doing anything to them and basically put your own label on it. That is one way to actually sell them online. And you can do it in bulk in anywhere from one, two, three, five pound bags. You can determine how and you want to actually package them. But buying them in bulk and simply repackaging is one of the most simplistic and easiest ways to get your product into the marketplace. Now, of course, if you're importing them, make sure that you've got a reliable source for those beans. And if you're looking for anything from like organic, make sure that they are following FDA guidelines in regards to the processing of that organic product. You can't actually use the organic label unless your facility has been certified and signed off as an organic facility. So keep that in mind too. There's a lot of misconceptions out there about people who buy an organic product, maybe not necessarily coffee beans, but any type of organic product, they buy in bulk from a facility that has been registered and has uh, the paperwork and everything registered with the FDA. And they have a third party company that comes in and does a certification. So they buy it and then they repackage it and then they want to put the label on there. Well, technically you need to actually have it certified by a third party uh, inspection facility. You can find those out actually through the FDA's website, and I'll put a link down below in the description for you to check that out too. But if you're going to repackage uh, organic coffee beans, for instance, your facility here in the US needs to make sure that it's certified and signed off as organic. Number two, reselling brands. So you could actually buy coffee, believe it or not, online if you wanted to sell Folgers, Maxwell House, or even Starbucks, whatever it may be. You can buy that and you can resell it online. Now, of course, you need to make sure that if you're reselling, you have the proper certifications and permits and licenses in your city or county, wherever you're gonna be operating from. Make sure that you check with them on what is gonna be needed as far as that's concerned. Obviously, a business license, uh, food business insurance, even if you are reselling other people's brands, you wanna make sure that you are insured because at the end of the day, whatever center, distribution center, or whatever facility is handling, distributing, or even warehouse any type of food product that is for human consumption it needs to be registered with the FDA number one but also there's a multitude of other permits and licenses that fall in line with reselling even though you're not actually packaging or doing anything to the product so keep that in mind too number three so coffee bundles I actually still have my tea sign up there okay so coffee bundles what does that mean all right let's say that you are reselling Starbucks coffee the one pound bags and 12 ounce bags and some of those larger bags of Starbucks coffees you see kind of everywhere. A lot of seasonal coffee blends from Starbucks are highly prized. Like there are people who pay a fortune during the holiday season for certain types of flavors and such that come out only a certain time of the year. Now there's a lot of stores that overbuy them. It, I would recommend that you go to the store, you buy them and you bring them to your facility or wherever it is that you're doing your logistics and such, but bundling them together. So instead of selling, let's say, one individual bag of like an eggnog infused or a holiday flavored Starbucks uh, coffee, you bring together two, three, or even four bags of them and you bundle them. What that does is that increases the actual transaction price for that single transaction. You're going to make more money, but your customer is also going to get a value because they're going to see the value in the three, four, or five bags instead of just one single bag. So bundling the product together is a win-win for everybody because the customer gets a variety of products or a multitude of the same flavor and you make more money on the single transaction because you can be charging 50 or 60 or 70 dollars if you've got five or six bags of a product okay specifically coffee of course number four um, bundling products related to, to coffee actually this is really interesting um, 
if you actually are selling coffee online, there is a multitude of also other products such as mugs, hats, shirts, funny coffee uh, sayings that are slogans that are uh, on t-shirts or different types of merch. So if you have a website and you're selling coffee, if you're remaking coffee or if you're reselling coffee, buying in a bulk, any of that, you've got a single product such as coffee, you can incorporate a lot of other products and bundle it with it. Um, there's a lot of hats out there, there's a lot of uh, cooking aprons, there's a lot of kitchen things, there's mugs, there's all kinds of different things that you can add together. By bundling together those types of products, almost like in a sense, kind of like a gift basket in a way, but bringing those other products together with your coffee br brand or the blend of coffees that you're selling, you can increase your actual transaction amount. And a lot of this can actually be done also through affiliate marketing on Amazon, for instance. If you were selling coffee on your own website, you can incorporate a link for products that would take a customer over to Amazon and they could buy anything I just mentioned, mugs, hats, any types of other merchandise that's related to coffee, and Amazon ships that. You get a portion of it and get a percentage, but you don't have to actually ship or even have any of that in inventory. So it's a great way to make even more money from your website. Next up, number five, subscriptions. Coffee subscription business. Obviously, that's a no-brainer. And there is a lot of people who are offering this online right now, but there's still a huge amount of opportunity online for coffee subscriptions or subscription businesses that offer coffee-related products. So what, how does that actually work, Damien? Well, you actually create a listing on your own store. Let's just use Shopify, for example. Shopify has several apps that features that allow you to add them to your website, which creates a subscription transaction. That means that if I go to your website and I buy a, a, a one month at a time or three month or six month in advance subscription, I can pay it at checkout and every month I get automatically billed and it will bill out every single month and say, hey, Damien, you got to ship out another couple bags of coffee to John, to Susie, to whoever it is that's buying the product. But creating a subscription product, uh, subscription brand on your own website is a great idea. I actually use this, believe it or not, even on eBay and Etsy, where I actually create for our chocolate pretzels and some of our other cookies. I have a subscription preset. So you can buy three months at a time, six months, or even 12 months in advance, and I simply every month send it out to you. That does a couple of things. That creates great cash flow for your business, a constant stream of business every month, and you can bring in money through the subscription process. And you have a customer who's constantly coming back, and you never know. They could be telling their friends or family, hey, I got this coffee subscription every month. They send me my coffee and it's delivered to my doorstep. A lot of web uh, websites and platforms already do this too, and Amazon's a real big one with that subscribe and save concept, exactly what I was talking about. You subscribe, you get a little bit of a discount, but every month you're going to be billed out, and that creates for you, a small business, a steady stream of cash flow. So subscription. Next up, curated brands. So curated coffees. So you would actually do this by bringing a multitude of different coffees together. As I mentioned before a little bit about the Starbucks and selling it in bundles, this is slightly different. If you have a variety of brands such again, Maxwell House, Folgers, Starbucks, or even a store brand that somebody really truly likes, bringing together those three or four different types of, of coffees and then offering that as a curated package. So you would have a box full of a variety or even sample packs of coffee or even some that are those coffee, coffee creamer combinations. Any of those things can create a fantastic curated box of coffee. That's another way to sell coffee. All right, so number seven. Now we're gonna start talking a little bit about the platforms. You can sell coffee, of course, on Amazon. And Amazon is hugely competitive with coffee but there's always room for more, trust me. Especially when it comes to food right now, food is one of the fastest growing sectors of e-commerce, but there is so much opportunity out there. And it, as far as Amazon's concerned, you can bring your own coffee brand, private label your own and bring it and sell it on Amazon. With nearly 100 million plus people a month, Amazon is a fantastic place to sell coffee. Number eight, okay, so as I just mentioned a little bit, private label your own. So if you are importing, let's say, raw coffee beans and you want to roast them yourself here, maybe you're not wanting to package them. Maybe you're just simply wanting to roast them. You can get a co-packer to do that for you. There's actually even companies online right now who offer pre-made roasted their own brands, but they put your label and your private label on that. And you can simply purchase that, bring it into your own warehouse and handle the logistics and ship it out to all the different places that you're selling it. Or you can, if you have a, a contract with a retail store, you can get a co-packer to mass produce it for you and simply sell it and ship it over to the store itself. So private labeling is hugely popular in the food industry right now, especially with coffee and teas, actually. Number nine, eBay. eBay has been around for decades, as everybody knows, but it's a great platform to sell coffee on. I actually read an article where a portion of the food that's sold on eBay, roughly one and a half to almost 2% is strictly just coffee in general. 
any type of coffee that you're selling, 2% of sales through the food as a category on eBay is a gigantic amount of coffee. So if you're looking to sell on eBay, definitely try them out. It's another great platform to sell your product on, and they still have hundreds of millions of people who go to that website. Number 10, Etsy. Yes, believe it or not, Etsy is, I think, number three or four, well below Walmart, Amazon, and eBay. But Etsy is catching a lot of ground. Over the last few years, there are more and more buyers than there have been years before. I've actually been on Etsy now for about 12 years, um, and we were on it when they just started. Uh, but they have gained a lot of traction and a lot more people and a lot more customers. So bringing your coffee brand, not only on Amazon or eBay, but bringing it over to Etsy is another great place to be. And when you're on e-commerce, the one thing that's worked really well for us is being in one, more than one place at a time. Don't rely solely upon one platform or one area because there's a lot of shoppers who enjoy Etsy who don't go to Amazon. And there's a lot of shoppers who go to Amazon that may not shop eBay. But if you can be in all those different places at the same time, it's gonna be a much better business for you. Number 11, Shopify. So if you want to develop and create your own website, Shopify is one of the best places, especially if you're selling coffee, but you can sell shop on your products on Shopify. We actually have a website, our marketingfoodonline.com website that I built out, or I build out all of our websites myself, but the one I did on, on Shopify is one of the best that we have because there's a lot of features, there's a lot of add-ons, a lot of apps that make the functionality of the website so much easier to work with. So Shopify is another platform to build your own website and then add on those other platforms such as eBay, Etsy, and Amazon. Number 12, food service. This is a huge, huge industry. So who is food service and what does that mean, Damien? Well, if you're roasting, again, let's go back to you creating your own brand. If you're roasting your own brand in bulk, if you're buying a brand from overseas and importing it and you're breaking it down into five, 10 or 15 pound bags, you can actually get into the food service industry. Food service industry is a huge warehouse and basically explain to you how it works is a huge warehouse where they supply all the different types of hotels, universities, hospitals, anywhere and everywhere in bulk where they need food to be produced and they have obviously cafeterias and kitchens. That's who food service is and that's what they do. They bring that product to those different companies. Uh, it could be resorts, it could be different types of places all over the U US or even the planet. Everywhere you go, there's food service that's bringing food ingredients to different kitchens all over the place. Big, big industry there. Number 13, LinkedIn. Now this might sound a little odd, but believe it or not, we actually use LinkedIn for our, our candy and snack business. By offering a variety of different posts on a daily basis, links back to our stores. So we actually leverage the amount of, we have a little bit over 9,000 food industry connections uh, from CEOs to executive chefs, to people in the food industry, packaged food businesses, and so on and so on. So all of those eyeballs can actually see and even end up buying your coffee products. So if you're selling coffee online, creating a LinkedIn page dedicated to your coffee business that has nothing to do with your personal page, if you happen to have one on LinkedIn, but a business page dedicated to your coffee business is a huge way to get a lot more eyeballs. I heard there was a registered users between 500 and 700 million worldwide on LinkedIn. Um, now, will you get your eyeballs and your product in front of all those eyeballs? Probably not, but I can tell you this, in the US, you could get probably a few hundred thousand or even a couple of million if, as you build up content and build up links, and that could be uh, basically sales for your coffee business. So selling on LinkedIn, believe it or not, works very, very well. 14, of course, Facebook. You need to have a Facebook page for your coffee business. If you've got stores on Amazon, Etsy, and eBay, well, that doesn't magically make you have sales and doesn't convert people to, to buyers. You need to have some type of social media presence. And honestly, Facebook still is the platform to get a lot of eyeballs on your coffee products. So as you develop your page out and you create content and you add more links and you add backlinks and stuff to your stores, you can also run Facebook ads, very simple ads to get more eyes on your product and then turn them into converting buying customers. So Facebook is another place you could sell coffee. Number 15, my second most favorite place is Twitter. Twitter has actually been a fantastic uh, social media platform for our business, and it can be converted into anything such as even selling coffee. It's the type of hashtags you use and the frequency and consistency of posting your products on Twitter that will reap you a lot of benefits. I love Twitter so much because of the fact that every single link is clickable and can bring someone right back to your store on Amazon, can bring someone right back to your store on eBay. You got your Shopify store, you can inter inter intertwine those two together with Twitter, and you can be posting on Twitter consistently and drive traffic to your Shopify store. So Twitter is another platform where you can actually reach out to people with your, your coffee business. Next up, cottage home food business. So this one is really interesting, number 16. 
If you're starting at home, the majority of states in the U.S. actually allow coffee-related products to be made at home and sold locally. You can't really sell it online over state lines. Some states do allow you to sell online within the state, but to be honest with you, that's really hard to kind of uh, judge whether or not somebody's buying from another state. If they go to your website and they're not in your state, you have to cancel the order. It becomes very confusing. But you can actually begin at least a, a coffee business at home. Now, most of the cottage food laws within the states won't allow you to make coffee actually in a cup and serve it because that's actually food service and that's normally not allowed. But roasting and making and blending coffee means almost every single state allows that. But you can be at farmer's market, local fairs, festivals, different events, even events locally that are about coffee. If you've got a jazz festival or some music festivals, you can set up a booth and sell your own coffee. Now, you can't necessarily brew it or make it there because then you need additional permits and licenses um, and that's a whole totally different process. But you can start a coffee business in almost every state at home. Next up, um, you can actually fill with no stock. This is actually flipping products. Number 17 is, is really a challenge to do, but it's doable. Now, I've actually noticed a lot of people on eBay who do this. Now, how does this work? So if you were to source your coffee from Walmart, and they have a huge variety of coffee. Nowadays, they've actually, the coffee aisle is gigantic. If you have coffee from Walmart or Publix or even Kroger, if you can source it from grocery stores, a lot of people are flipping them on eBay. You mark it up a little bit of a percentage, you make a little bit of money on each one, uh, but the thing you might be thinking is, well, Damien, doesn't everybody have a Walmart near them? Can't they buy their own? Actually, no. A Walmart is located in a lot of different places. The Kroger's, grocery stores, there's a lot of grocery stores and areas, but that doesn't necessarily mean they're going to carry the same inventory or the same flavored coffees. If I was trying to find a coffee and I couldn't get it here locally, I'd go online. And if there's somebody on eBay that's selling it, as a matter of fact, there is a coffee that we buy from somebody down in Miami, um, Celia Rojo, which is a certain type of coffee. It's a Colombian coffee that my wife and I like to drink, but we don't have it here. I don't have it at any of the stores here. So I actually pay premium. I actually pay a little bit more than I should for it. But the point of, is, the point of the telling you this is, is that everybody likes a certain type of coffee and they'll go online if they can't find it locally. And you could be the one who can fill that order simply by flipping it. So this concept is you don't buy it, you don't have it. Once you get the order, you go to the store, you buy it. And that way you don't have to invest in inventory. It's a little tricky to do this because you can't technically do it from home. And keeping an inventory is something that is a challenge for the store. So if the store is out of it, you may run into a problem as far as sourcing. Next up, number 18, create a coffee comparison website. So this is actually really an interesting concept. This is based on the affiliate marketing idea. You can actually tap into Amazon's huge inventory, create a website where you quote unquote compare the different qualities of, of, of coffees. So you could create a blog or you could create some type of content on your website or even videos on YouTube. Compare the coffees and then you add a link. That link is for the people to buy the coffee on Amazon and you get a cut, you get a percentage of it. So it's almost like affiliate marketing for your coffee business. You have no inventory. You actually do run a business because you will end up be make, you will be making money from it because you get commissions, but you create a website so you don't have any inventory. You're simply referring people to Amazon so they would buy coffee. And lastly, number 19, this one is YouTube. So kind of like what I had just mentioned a little bit about in, in number 18, YouTube is a great place to make video comparisons or if you're making videos about qualities or where coffee comes from and then below the video in the description section you have a bunch of affiliate links. Affiliate links that are dedicated to the coffee that you're talking about in the video. So you cover a topic in your video discussing coffee, maybe your own picks, maybe you buy three or four and you taste test them and you, you, you give your opinion about it. But then below the video you can make money off of Amazon because of the fact that you add your affiliate links to the coffee as the coffee sells and they ship it, you actually make money. You get a portion of that. So, and remember, every single time you create a video on YouTube, um, as long as you're within the rules, it stays up forever. So it could be making you money 20 years from now, people still looking at the video and buying coffee from those links. It's a great uh, stream of revenue. It's another way to sell coffee. So this is a variety of brainstormed ideas for how to sell coffee online and get a coffee business up and running. So if you have any questions about the ones I mentioned down below, let me know down below and I'll try to get to them as soon as possible. But I'll see you guys on our next video.